Hi folks. So hopefully the sound's working today. Um, I checked it and it should be. But you never know. All right, so um, we have the top portion of the um, Alembic that we just threw yesterday. And it's still really, really soft, but that's okay. Um, because we're not really going to trim it completely yet. So this is going to be a multi-part video, I think. Um, but what I want to do is um, I want to make sure that this fits on top of the basin. Um, and to do that, to make sure, I need to clean this bottom up before I can do that. So um, I've got sitting in a chuck. And I've got the chuck set in some clay that, that stuck to the wheel head. Um, normally I would just put the chuck right on the wheel head, uh, but this chuck isn't quite deep enough, um, so I had to elevate it a little bit. Um, but that should be fine. Should be. So here we go. We'll start out with our needle tool. could use an X-Acto knife for this if you wanted to. Um, I tend not to like using X-Acto knives for this part, simply because if it catches somewhere, then it rips through. It can rip through the side, and then you're really just starting over. And so what we want is we want this rim where it sits into the gallery to be rounded.
just going to take our leather. I'm just going to smooth this off real quick. We don't want to get a lot of water on there just enough to smooth it out like that. All right, so we're gonna let that sit in the chuck for a second and then we're gonna check it against the basin. And then we'll let it dry some more and we'll trim up the top portion of it and we'll attach a spout. So, check back with us. Okay, so, we're all set up here, and what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and attach the spout to the alembic, and we've got the spout here. No, it's not going to be this long. We're going to cut it off, um, and it's going to come out at an angle like that. Whereas with a teapot or something like that, similar, it would come up like this. This one's going to come out like this. So we need to cut this off at an angle. And I think right about there. And I think it's going to come like that. right about there. I think that'll work out pretty well. All right, so the other difference, I mean, the biggest difference other than the direction the spout's facing between this and a teapot is with a teapot, um, we just poke holes in to act as a strainer. Whereas with this, we don't want, we want one solid hole that'll let as much of the steam through as possible. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to find that, figure out where we want it. And we're going to go right like that. And then, I just had it. All right, well, what we'll do is hold that there for a second. So we'll do this the other way. All right, that'll work. All right, and then we're going to take our exacto knife. center of where our spout's going to be and we're going to cut a hole. All right, we take our scoring tool Same thing with the spout. Right. I'll take a little bit of water. All right. 
then what we will do is we will uh, offer up the spout to the top piece. our dry hand. You really want your fingers dry for this. And we'll seal it right there. All right. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take this off and we're going to support the inner wall or the wall on the inside while we start joining these two pieces together. Okay, there we go, just adjust that a little bit, and then we're going to take our X-Acto knife one more time, and we're just going to kind of clean up where we cut the hole for our spout. And there we have it.
have it an alembic. Well, Okay, and there we go. We're all trimmed up. We're all fitted up. Just got to put a seal on it. And there we go. And then we'll set it aside to dry. Okay, all right, and once we've got it all fired and, and the inside of it's going to be glazed. So we have to glaze the inside of the basin and the inside of this cone, um, but the outside we're just going to go ahead and leave raw. Um, we're going to make sure we glaze the inside of the spout too. But once we've got that done, we'll, we'll get it all fired up and check back and we'll test it out. I'm a little bit excited right now. All right. Thanks for watching.